English language learners and language acquisition. All language learners progress through the same stages of language acquisition. They just progress at different rates. In the native language, these stages begin at home and gain in sophistication as young children encounter wider opportunities to communicate in the world, including school. Non-native English learners progress through these same stages at school, through television and in the workplace. These learners have a first language which will support them in their acquisition of English. Students in the pre-production stage are careful listeners and may even copy words, phrases, and sentences from the board, student work, textbooks, etc., but they are not willing to speak yet. These students, much like a baby, are focused on individual sounds of language. This is the cueing system of phonology. They learn quickly, begin in sounds that are associated with specific nouns and verbs. The pre-production stage is part of the silent stage. Although the students are silent, these students may have as many as 500 words in their receptive vocabulary. As they become more confident, they may begin to repeat what others are saying. Teachers of students at this stage need to focus on listening comprehension activities and building receptive vocabulary. These students will benefit from many repetitions of English. If possible, a buddy who speaks the same native language is helpful. School is a long, exhausting day for these students. They are listening intently throughout the day. The early production stage may last as long as six months. It is during this time the student develops a receptive and active vocabulary of approximately 1,000 words. This is the cueing system of morphology, where the learner is focusing on learning words. At this stage, they may speak in one or two word phrases. Many of these words and phrases have been memorized and may not always be correct. Effective strategies for working with these students include asking yes or no questions or either or questions, except one or two word responses, opportunities for participation in whole class activities, and use pictures and symbols to support questions and answers. Students in the speech emergence phase may communicate with simple words and phrases. They will ask simple questions, usually procedural content, that may or may not be grammatically correct. In formal settings, these students may participate in short, informal conversations with peers. They are using the cueing system of syntax, how words are combined into sentences. With approximately a 3,000 word vocabulary, these students understand easy stories with picture support and may be able to do content work with teacher support. Dialogue journals between the teacher and the student are extremely helpful at this stage. Students can write about topics that interest them and proceed at their own level and pace. This provides a safe place to express their thoughts and ideas. The teacher should refrain from correcting grammar and sentence structure at this point. The student needs to feel safe to explore language. Students will use more complex sentences in speaking and writing at intermediate fluency stage. They are more willing to express their opinions, share their thoughts, and ask clarifying questions. This is an example of using the cueing system of semantics, where we focus on vocabulary or word meanings. Since students are focusing on appropriate use of vocabulary, there may be many grammar and sentence structure errors at this point. Students will also begin to use strategies from their native language to learn English content. This is an example of the pragmatic cueing system where students use their background knowledge and meaningful context to help comprehend communication. Students at this level function as, English, as native English speakers. It has usually taken four to 10 years to achieve this level of proficiency. They have usually been dismissed from support programs at school. However, they may need continued support from the teacher, especially in the content areas and writing. Teachers may not recognize the need for support for these students as they seem proficient as their classmates. 
These students are proficient enough to use all the queuing systems seamlessly as they encounter written and oral communication. Finally, although each person will develop and pass through each stage of acquisition, the pace will vary depending on a variety of factors, such as culture, language development in L1, the first language, prior education in foreign or U.S. schools, and social and psychosocial factors. For example, if a student has a very outgoing and accepting personality and is willing to take risks while learning a culture and language, he may move through the stages more quickly. Another example relates to the student's sense of safety and belonging in the dominant culture. For example, if a student has trust and strong relationships with peers, teachers, and family, he may be more receptive to the new culture and language. The language learning process is as unique as the individual.